Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get your kicks to hit 10 times harder with just one plugin, but I'm going to use four different plugins from different companies to show you how you can achieve this. The main point of this is to keep your kick hitting at the same DB, but be perceived louder. Let's go. All right. So first things first, you got to have a beat. You have to have the beat pretty well mixed. Without those two things, this technique really isn't going to work. So nice levels, nice sound selection, a nice mix. We still want the kick to hit even harder. Let's go ahead and hear this first. So it's hitting pretty hard, right? But I want that kick to really punch through. Now you might be asking, why don't you just put a soft clipper on the master channel and push the drums into it really hard. You could obviously do that, but I always like to show you different techniques of how to achieve that directly either on the kick channel or before actually throwing anything on the master channel. These are the four plugins I'm gonna be using as examples today to show you how to achieve them with each one. They're all disabled right now. We need to see what the kick is peaking at. I wanna say it's like negative six, I believe. Yeah, negative 5.9. So let's go ahead and refresh this and just let it play. So as you can see, the kick right now sitting by itself is hitting around negative six dB. We're just gonna round it up to negative six. So each one of these plugins, when I'm using them and processing them, I'm going to make sure that that reading is gonna stay at that negative six level. And pretty much we could just look right here and make sure we're hitting at about that negative six mark because I don't want it to necessarily get louder as far as the reading goes. I want it to stay at that same peak, but I wanna have the perceived loudness have us thinking the kick is hitting louder. So first one we're gonna do is G clip. Let me pull this up real quick. This is a free plugin. I don't think it's for Mac. I don't know, it's been free for years. So we have a couple of different things we can utilize here. So we have the gain function, we have the clip. This is gonna pretty much be our threshold. And then we have the softness. So if we want a hard clip or a soft clip, and then there's little windows over here where you can see the incoming signal. So what I'm gonna do is let it play. We're gonna be able to see this metering here. And I'm gonna bring down this clip right here pretty much just the threshold and right to the peak of it so I can keep it at that negative six and I'm gonna push gain into it and choose if I want a softer clip or a harder clip. So I need to push some gain first, start to get it to hit that threshold. I'm gonna start to bring down the clip. I'm gonna get that clip to hit at that negative six. So pretty much right there. Okay. So now we can start to push this in as much as we want. Right, that doesn't sound too good. But let's go ahead and mess with this and you can see that we're still gonna be hitting about that negative six area. So let's go ahead and push this in and find out how much gain we wanna push into the clipper and then what type of clip we want, hard clip or soft clip. Now you can hear, obviously, if I do a hard clip compared to a soft clip, even though again, it's still peaking there, we have the original volume, which sounds lower, but it's the same. Then we have the soft clip version when it's over here, which is louder, but the same volume. And then when we're doing a very hard clip on the signal, we're still peaking the same level, but it's even louder. And the difference between the soft clip and hard clip is really gonna come down to your ear and depend on the beat of how much you want that clipped sound to be. So for this, I'm kind of thinking somewhere in the middle, like a medium type of clip for this, but let me show you both. And then soft. So it depends which one you wanna do. Let's go somewhere in the middle. And now the ultimate test is to turn this off and see when we turn it off and on, if it's still about the same level. For the tutorial to make it a bit quicker, I'm just gonna make sure it's very, very close. So let's go before and after, and we should be able to hear that the kick sounds louder, but it's still peaking at the same volume. Let's just watch right here. And then listen. It's a big difference. And then if we were to take this and do a harder clip. If 
for me that's a little bit too much i kind of liked how it was before because it's subtle but it's still hitting harder let's go ahead and do the same thing with jst clip this is by joey sturges focuses a lot on metal music i've had this plugin forever as well so we have the input knob here we have the trim, which is the output knob, and then we have a mix knob, which is cool, so we can mix it in. We're gonna keep this at 100, though, so it can make sense for the tutorial. And then a times two multiplier, which pretty much makes this double. So anywhere this is, is doubled. So we're not gonna use that for right now because it can get pretty aggressive. So I'm just gonna push signal, and then make sure we're hitting there. I know it's a little bit louder right now, so let's go about right there. Do before and after just to check. Okay, cool. Now let's push this all the way in. And now we're gonna do before and after on this as well. This is a bit more of a hard clip for the signal. We don't get the option to choose a softer hard clip for this, but that's fine. Different clippers different settings, different tones, really just depends. There's so many different clippers out there and you can utilize the same process on it. So let's go ahead and hear before and after now. Way louder, we're hearing it way louder, peaking at the same level. Let's go times two and make this crazy. <laughs> If you wanted that sound, let's do before and after again. So you have a lot of options with this one, especially when you do the times two multiplier as far as the sound you wanna go for. Again, every clipper is gonna have its own characteristic, especially if it's a quality clipper. Let's go into the next one, classic clipper. You guys have seen this a lot. This clipper has been around for a very long time and it is a very good clipper. It sounds really good. You have your main gain inputs right here. You have slope right here, so a soft clip or a hard clip, and then you have your output right here. Now I do have to readjust all these real quick. This clipper is one of my favorite clippers. I really like using it, especially on kicks. Okay, we're close. Okay, there we go. Now I can start to mess with how much gain and the slope. So let's start off with a softer clip and push in a lot of gain. That's a soft clip. Medium. Ooh. Hard clip. Kind of like the round. I think it was minus 3.5 on the slope. Sounded really good. Let's push it in a little more. All right, let's do before and after on this one now. So here's before. This clipper's just been around forever and it's just always sounded really good, especially on kicks. I do have an affiliate link for this clipper if you wanna check it out. I have a link to it in the description, but you don't have to use the affiliate link. You could go straight over to their site. All right, now the last one, Fruity Wave Shaper. You can get a lot of cool sounds with this. I'm gonna show you a way that we can utilize Wave Shaper to have a similar sound to what we have going now. And then I'll kind of show you like the crazy stuff you could do with it. We gotta click this little icon here. I can actually make this plug in bigger, which is nice. I'll show you what you could do right here later with drawing different curves or using different presets. But all we're gonna do is utilize the pre and post in this state right now. So let's go ahead and press play. Let's turn up pre, let's go all the way. And now let's bring post down. Let's get this to about the same area, negative six. All right, now before and after.
So this one's a little bit more subtle and that's because the shape we have here, we can actually change this shape and it'll start to do a whole bunch of different things to the kick. It really depends what you draw. This one didn't sound bad. So let's do before and after on that. I didn't even think this was gonna end up working because I was gonna show you something without the pencil too, which I will in a second, but let's before and after this because it is still hitting at the same dB. It actually sounds good. It needs to get turned down a little bit because it is a little bit louder. Okay, before and after now. Ooh, I kind of actually like how that sounds. This is a stock plugin in FL Studio. And then let's turn off this pencil tool right here. And now let's just grab this little circle right here and bring this up. Before, I didn't think we we're actually going to get a good sound like that by drawing something random. This is what I was going to show you, but it worked out. So now we have two different things we could do with this. All right. Spot. Like how that sounds. Okay, before and after, and look, we're still peaking at negative six. It's actually hitting way harder. Let's exaggerate a little bit before and after. So Wave Shaper is really cool. You can get some really cool sounds with this, especially when you start drawing things in. So hopefully this tutorial was able to teach you a few different ways to make your kicks hit way harder while still peaking at the same volume. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, drop a comment down below if you guys want more mixing video and mixing tips. As always, appreciate you guys watching. Till the next video, peace.